guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a studio grade microphone. First, you need to put get your get your stuff together. You need to order some of these Panasonic WM61A capsules or the duplicate or you know the the the, the copy that that's still available today. You can get these little guys. I'll uh, put a link in on the video here. Need uh, need one of these. You don't need. I, I got a whole bunch. Anyway, and you need some, um, some some good circuit board. Now these I've already cut down. Let me go over here and grab a a, a piece like what I bought. I got a piece like this. Okay, this is um, it's a nice little uh, fiberglass board, and it's the tin through hole construction and everything. So I cut it down to fit this box. And I got the box from, um, from Muji. It's a Japanese store. And you, you don't have to get this box. You can get something similar. What, it, what we want it to do, we want to have room to put a battery in it and to have our electronics in it, which ain't much. It's just a, you see these little parts right here? That's, that's everything you need. That's actually more than you need, and a switch. So I'm gonna put this in here, and I cut this little board so it fits. So a battery can fit in there, and the thing will close, see? There, and, it's, and then you got the switch here. I, I cut a, already cut a hole so they can put the toggle switch in. It fits, and it doesn't short out on the battery, see? So get all your stuff prepared, and that's for your electronics, your enclosure, you're gonna need some nice little balanced wire. What the heck is this? I forget. It's, it's, I got a local. But similar to Megami or anything, you can, you know, any good wire, okay? Shield and twisted pair, okay? That'll do just fine. You're gonna need some connectors. And where are my connectors? I had them laying out here. I'll show them to you in a minute. Then you're gonna need um, some little girl's hair, hair clips, okay? Now I got these guys at, um, where was it? It was one of the supermarket stores here in the little girl's section for little little hair ribbons and, and, and do wickies. And they had uh, some ribbon tape, you know, hot glued onto them with a little knitted thing on. <laughs> it's so cheap, you can just buy that, and take it off. Or you can find where you can get these guys. Now, on the microphone that I'm using, I have a similar one, but it's black. See this, this is black. That's what I use for that. And we're gonna use these guys as clips to hold the microphone on your lapel. Now, you're gonna need some, here's my, where's my list? Oh, where's my list? I got a schematic drawing. I will post this on the, in the link description, in, under the descri video description. And um, you need two 2K ohm resistors and two 10K ohm resistors. You need two 2.2 microfarad at 50 volt capacitors, electrolytics, like this guy. An LED, I have blue ones, I like blue, they're cool. A switch, got a switch, and a battery. I use a rechargeable, because I have a little rechargeable thing. And you know, I, I have several of these guys and I keep make sure one's charged all the time because I'm always on, on Zoom or Skype or something talking to my clients. So I use this all the time. This little booger will last you a week, okay? You charge it up, run this microphone, lasts a week. Um, and if you forget to leave it on, it still probably lasts a week, it's pretty good. These, these mics don't draw much. Then you need to get some tubing. This is, um, it's copper tube. It is a quarter inch diameter ID so it fits perfectly over these capsules. And what you have to do, where's a piece? Here's a rough piece. Here's a rough cut piece right here. Just plain soft copper tubing. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that next. Um, let's see, you're gonna need a, heat, a, a shrink gun. I got this thing. Shrink tubing, you're gonna need a hot glue gun. Where's my hot glue gun? It's in the box. You're gonna need your soldering iron. This is my soldering station here. And a meter. And uh, 
I'm, I got this little reamer, it's really handy. I ream out the ends of these pieces after I cut them. Uh, see, I got this smooth, yeah. So it's smoothed out, and what we wanna do, we want it to be able to fit over the end of one of these microphones. Now, I'm not gonna push it down on there now because I don't wanna ruin the thing. They're a couple of bucks each. And these are gorgeous. Be really careful when you're handling these little guys. Use a clean surface, not like my table. My, my table's filthy. Anyway, this will fit right in there. You could press it in, see? See how it fits? I can push real hard and it'll just go right in just, just fine. Don't wanna damage this capsule and you don't want to bend it or crimp it or anything like that. Be very, very careful when messing with these. Uh, next, I'll show you how to prepare the capsule. Okay?